YSL, Lom, Eau de Parfum, a brand new 2022 release and it's time to find out how good it is. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. If you are brand new to my channel, if you love smelling good, which you do, right? Then you gotta make sure to hit that subscribe and the notification button and please do drop a like on this video, thank you. So right here, right now, it's time to check out the new 2022 release from YSL. This is Lom Eau de Parfum. Some of the notes in YSL's Lom Eau de Parfum are bitter orange, bergamot, geranium, lavender, oak, cognac, cedar and vetiver. So what does it? Mmm, nice, <laughs> smell like. Uh, the opening of Lom Eau de Parfum is a fresh dose of that bitter orange and that bergamot. I'm loving it right from the start. It's a very softish, citrusy opening with no kind of sharpness at all. Soon after, the lavender comes peeking through and while it's right there in the blend, the intensity of it is not on the same level as some of the other YSL fragrances for men. I like that it's right in the middle of the blend, but in a less intense and more soft way. So the opening is a short-lived dose of the citrus, which then transforms into a more aromatic blend and it then all goes into a dry down that to my nose is dominated by something woody and something slightly boozy. The dry down is a warm and woody one with a nice kind of richness to the woody side and I really enjoy how well it plays with the boozy side of it. It's not overly boozy and based on my short time with it, I would say it's about 90% woody and 10% sort of a boozy. This warm, woody and slightly boozy blend has something spicy and ambery about it, which makes it all feel very nice, rounded and attractive. I'm not sure where that spice and amber come from, but it does help in keeping the whole blend more interesting and not sort of a falling flat. There's also some residue from the mids with a touch of aromatics in the dry down, but it's really focused on that dominating woodiness with the booziness and it all being warm, woody, boozy and spicy. Low Motor Parfum is nice and it makes me feel good, but it almost feels too polite and a bit restrained when I want it to be more intense in just some way. This to me leans towards something a bit more romantic and sexy, but in a very polite and subdued kind of way. It does not give me that romantic and sexy vibe in an intense way. I only had this one for a short period of time, but the reactions from the people that got to enjoy it of me so far at least has only been positive. This is the kind of scent that most people will think smell really nice. The performance of Lom Eau de Parfum is definitely a bit above average, but it's not strong in any way. I always spray a ton with my YSL fragrances and I do so with this one as well. And when I do, I get a decent projection that lasts a few hours. So when should you use this fragrance? You can use it pretty much anytime, anywhere. This woody, slightly boozy and aromatic blend is not going to offend anyone in any way. I personally will use it more when going out for dinner with friends or when I'm going out on a date. So who should buy Lom Eau de Parfum? So this is a YSL fragrance and it's very much a safe kind of release in the sense that most people will enjoy it. That is what YSL does and this is a good release. But I'm guessing this will feel redundant to some people. I really like it, but I sort of wish they would amp up parts of it to make it way more unique compared to the rest in the collection and to other fragrances out there. That does not mean it's bad because it's not. It smells great and most people will think you smell great, but yeah. If you are looking for a woody blend with a boozy side to it that is not overly boozy in any way and a touch of something spicy, ambery and aromatic, then this one might be something for you. If you love that sort of a YSL kind of scent, then this one is most likely for you. Lom Eau de Parfum is a mass appealing fragrance, very much done the YSL way. So how am I going to rate this fragrance? I really liked Lom Eau de Parfum the first time I put my nose to it during one of our fragrance hauls, which I will link to above, so please do check that one out. Now that I've spent more time with it, I still feel it's a very nice scent, but it does feel a bit subdued. I would have loved for it to be more intense and for its sort of a boozy side to be more prominent and more intense but that would not have been a YSL scent. They don't do intense in that way. They do it all very well balanced and always keep it in a sort of a safe zone. It's almost a bit too polite and restrained when I want something more intense to make it stand out more 
against the rest of the YSL fragrances out there and against other fragrances that are a bit similar to it. This is a long flanker with a twist, but the twist is not new or intense enough to give it a truly epic score. I am going to give L'Homme Eau de Parfum for YSL an 8. It's a good scent for sure. I like it and I will definitely use it and it's a kind of scent that most people will enjoy. I do however recommend you to try it before you buy it, especially if you already own a few YSL fragrances, just so that you don't end up with a scent that you feel is a bit redundant. Overall, it's another nice scent from YSL. So how do you feel about L'Homme Eau de Parfum? Is it an epic release or is it a boring one? Comment and let me know. Don't forget to hit that like. Please do make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one.